Support and Shoot is a film about uh, how I became a fighter in the Libyan Revolution in 2011. When I left the United States, I tried to make a motorcycle adventure film and got a bit off track and ended up becoming a revolutionary fighter. Nobody was supposed to know I was in Libya. When I went there, I was completely undercover as a Libyan fighter. I was just going to go help my friends come home, nobody would have known. But then when I was captured and missing, that generated press coverage and then the press just kept watching me and then even when I went back to the front line after I escaped prison and when I went back to fight I tried to do it quietly. I knew that people would be looking for me, just my mother and Lauren, but I knew that most of the world would thought I was dead and, and in reality that's what happened. The Qaddafi regime denied having me for five of the five and a half months I was in prison. Um, it was only the last two weeks before I escaped prison that my family even knew that I was alive. You know, I hope that the film improves people's opinion of Libya, especially after Benghazi. Um, I have no doubt that the film will will improve people's opinion when they see what Libyan rebels are really like and they saw the camaraderie and they understand why I felt it was worth fighting for. If they see an American who felt that it was worth risking his life for that country, then they'll at least be open to, to trying to understand why, why it was worth that level of risk. But if you believe in something, to go and do it. Don't just sit at home on your sofa and give a, give a thumbs up to the television. Uh, I believe in hands-on activism. So if you believe in a cause, do something about it. You know, you can't just let everybody else do the heavy lifting.